Now let's focus on a disorder called hypothyroidism. So what causes this? And what is it? Yeah, hypothyroidism is a uh, slow thyroid, where the thyroid just is not producing enough of the thyroid hormone, the T3 and T4. The most common cause is autoimmune, which is something called Hashimoto's. Okay. And that's the most common cause in the United States. Worldwide, especially in third world countries, you can have iodine deficiency as a cause of hypothyroidism, but we really don't see that in the United States or in developed countries. We put iodine in the salt, and we have a big diet of fish and um, seafood. Uh, if you have any sushi, they're all wrapped in seaweed in the kelp, and that has a, a lot of iodine. So typically, we don't see iodine deficiency here, but the hypothyroid is usually caused by Hashimoto's or autoimmune diseases. So can medication, though, also cause? Certain medications can okay. cause hypothyroidism. Uh, sometimes some medication for the heart called amiodarone can cause it. Sometimes certain um, antidepressants and uh, medications that we use for bipolar, such as lithium, can cause. Certain types of anti-cancer medications can also cause hypothyroidism. Um, and these medications sometimes can also cause hyperthyroidism, so they can affect the thyroid in both ways. So when you're on certain medications, it is important to monitor the thyroid function. So these symptoms, do they... When someone has hyperthyroidism, does the symptoms appear right away? How would a patient know that they have it? So it's interesting. A lot of patients uh, experience symptoms uh, slowly, so it's a slow process. And so sometimes you don't notice what's going on until finally one day you say, you take a look and you, you start thinking about, look at that, I really haven't been feeling well for the last three months, six months, because it is a slow, insidious onset. Right. So it's not really from one day to the next you're going to feel a difference. So also sometimes it can be very difficult for patients to, to know that they have an issue because it is something that's slow. And a lot of times when things are so slow uh, slow developing, you kind of get used to it and you learn to deal with it. And so finally, you know, there's that straw that breaks the camel's back and you say, look at this, you know, what's going on? There's something I going to, on. I need to get help.